What it up, y'all? This is Denzel Beaver, and sign on with you guys and girls. So today is another great day for the Book of Boba Fett, Season 1, Episode 6. Ah, I can't wait to watch this episode because in the previous episode, Episode 5, we, that was a whole Mandalorian story of itself. I forgot Boba Fett. It was even called a Boba Fett show. It was such a great episode previously. So in this next episode, I am really, really excited because... Mando and it's Mando ended and said uh, he's going to pay a visit to a friend, and uh, that's it. The end. And, and we'll, we'll see where he's going to go for there, stuff like that. Hopefully, we'll get back to Boba Fett in the story, stuff like that. But Mando means to get herself. So here we go. Don't know what to expect. I'm really excited. So here's my reaction to y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and share, and enjoy the vid. Here we go. Action. <laughs> Spice. Tearing up, y'all. Uh, I'm tearing up. <laughs> While Mando's knocked out, still waiting. Ah, uh, this this is okay. This is great. Anything with Luke Skywalker, I'm in. Oh my God, Ahsoka's here! Yeah. I didn't expect to see you here. Me neither. I'm an old friend of the family. Luke, you are the goat, man. You are the goat, bro. Through the force, you will find balance as well. I mean, Grogu's gonna be a kick butt. Uh, gonna... Ooh, there goes the green! And Ahsoka just seeing the grant the, the, the son of Skywalker is in front of Ahsoka, which is such it's so brilliant. God man. So much like your father. Hmm. Hmm. Will I see you again? Perhaps. May the force be with you. <laughs> that was fire. That was fire, bro. All right, back to Boba Fett. I almost forgot this was a Boba Fett show. Look at his swagger, man. Just we now have an experience. He's new. Still a bit jumpy. Is that, that a Naboo Starfighter? Starfighter? Yep. That's, That's what it started off as. Is that who I think it is? Give me a favor. Is that who I think it is? Is if okay. I got the name in my head, but I want to see him up, up close. Oh my God! Is that Cad Bane, bro? <laughs> 
Is that Cad Bane, bro? Such a nerd. Freak! Live action, bro! <laughs> it's gonna be some stuff popping up, yo. I'd be careful where I was sticking my nose if I were you. <laughs> yo, this, uh, this episode is lit! Yo, if he shoot the marshal. He probably might shoot a new, new man in town. Yo, look how great he looks, bro. No! There's a spice he's running. Everyone will be left alone. So he's working. He's a bounty hunter. He works for anybody that pays the priest. So the spice runner. So I'm thinking... It could be Han Solo's girl from Solo Star Story. What's her name? Kira. Is that a bomb? Oh! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You know what would be crazy? If that would be his lightsaber? Oh, shoot. The Mandalorian wants you to have this. Lord of the Rings, be thrill. This is a lightsaber. It belonged to my teacher, Master Yoda. And now, I'm offering it to you. The glory. However, you will be giving into attachment to those you love and forsaking the way of the Jedi. Train you to be a great Jedi. It will take you many years to master the ways of the Force, and you may never see the Mandalorian again. Because, Roju, a short time for you is a lifetime for someone else. Can you just choose both, Luke? Can you just choose both? Those family. See, Which these, you choose? This is like L1 and R1 on PlayStation, man. L1 or R1. Lightsaber L1, R1 for Mando. Huh, it ends like that. That was a lot. To take in. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna keep this short and sweet for what I thought about the episode. 11 out of 10 out of this episode. This felt like a Mandalorian season 2.50 because it doesn't even, this episode doesn't feel like the Book of Boba Fett, but semi it does, still his show. But I really love what I dig in this episode is that we, I was curious of how what Luke Skywalker was going to do with the Jedi Temple, and, it, and I love how this episode just showed the planet Octu for the first time, which we saw in The Force Awakens, and it is confirmed that Grogu is Luke Skywalker's first student. And what I really dig in this show is just that just seeing the training montage of Grogu going with Luke Skywalker, then Luke Skywalker carrying on his backpack, you know, like he did in Empire Strikes Back with Master Yoda, and then just seeing the Jedi training process with him throughout the episode was so brilliant, stuff like that. And uh, seeing R2 for first time in great, I mean, not first time, but just seeing him again in this episode, I just, I'm just getting tongue twisted because my, my brain is just processing of what is just, <laughs> what I just watched and saw. It was so epic, it just had everything in it, it was just so rewarding. And then Ahsoka, being on that planet, which I was not expecting, meeting with um, her master, Anakin Skywalker's generational seed, the Luke Skywalker, stuff like that. And it seems like she's giving him a little bit of wise advice too, of 
you know, him starting off as his Jedi master school and stuff like that. And Luke Skywalker feel like in the episode, like he had a little bit of doubt. Like, am I ready for it? Stuff like that. She says, you will when the time is right and stuff like that. So that gave out a little hints, you know, stuff like that, you know, that Luke is still growing and he's still more mature in processes until, you know, Ben Solo, aka Kylo Ren, shows up with everything. But everything else, everything was solid, great, man. Man, was just coming back on that plan to see Grogu and stuff like that. Grogu and his little Q cell training. And Grogu receiving Master Yoda. Well, we think he's going to receive Master Yoda's lightsaber because Luke Skywalker gave him a choice. I hate choices like that too. Like, you ever had a choice that's like, okay, you can have this or you can have that? can't have both like can we have bro both bro but um i don't know what do you think he's gonna choose is he gonna choose the lightsaber or is he gonna choose the meat frail from frodo from lord of the rings stuff like that that was really everything was great everything dialogue with him and stuff like that this is like i told you this is how we wanted luke skywalker to be this inspirational and stuff like that but once i think when we go receding on into each journey of each Star Wars TV show episode, then we might see how Luke is doing greatly high and then what bring him down on what he thought if they're going to show that, you know, and stuff like that. But overall, I thought this episode was brilliant and great. And then now we return back on Tatooine. Um, Boba Fett is recruiting all of everybody going against the Pike Syndicate and stuff like that. Oh, and also in addition, it says, speaking of Tatooine, great to see the Marshal. Marshall, great, great class, uh, great classic guy. That I really enjoyed the character in um, season two of The Mandalorian, stuff like that. And the OG of the Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels, which was the last. No, was it Star Wars Rebels or the? Ba oh, I think it was the Bad Batch. I think it was the last time we saw this character. Cad Bane shows up in this episode because the last time we saw him he was fighting with Fennec Shan I think is in the Bad Batch episodes if I'm not mistaken and then he fell fell somewhere or something like that and then that's the last time we saw him but he survived somehow so he's in partnership with the syndicate with um, the Pikes so I am thinking that Kira which is Han Solo's uh, um, first girl is still in charge and doing the legal things and trying to be the big boss of gangs and stuff like that you know, but um, it was really great seeing him in live action. He looks really great in live action too and everything. And Luke Skywalker really did too look great. Like they made his CGI face look even realistically better in this one and stuff like that, you know. But um, this episode was very rewarding. Great from start to finish. It felt, like I said, it felt like the two fillers, if, if you were the one of the people that want to focus on Boba Fett, but it felt like two filler episodes, but just like Mandalorian 2.5, what's Mandalorian been doing, and stuff like that. And I really enjoy for what they did and stuff like that. So hopefully the final episode, uh, which is episode seven, will focus on everything that they're gonna have to take over and fight the Pikes and fight this Crimson Dawn, I think it is, or the Syndicate, you know, stuff like that. I think it's Kira that they're gonna fight off, stuff like that. And um, yeah, but this this was such a pivotal, rewarding, another great rewarding moment for a Star Wars fan. It had everything in it. Even some fans' theories were greatly rewarded. It, you know, um, it was it was just it was really I, I I was emotionally welled up, teared up again, just seeing Luke Skywalker again. Cause you know that's my favorite all time hero growing up. And um, yeah, and it's just like that. So I will I would love to see a TV show of Luke Skywalker training Jedi and stuff like that. And also just, there will be great to see a TV show of him seeing Ben Solo, you know, before how he became Kylo Ren and Knights of Ren and you know, stuff like that. Hopefully they'll they'll make that as a TV show in the near future and everything. But I thought this episode was brilliant and great and stuff like that. And, and the Syndicate Pikes blew up the uh, bar, which I had a feeling that it was. Um, but I forced her the other Marshall guy um, up. I say, oh, he, he got fat or he got a face transplant. I don't know, some stupid thought I did, but the Marshall, that was his little deputy, stuff like that. But the Marshall's dead now, so who's going to be in charge of the town now since Cad Bane is in charge? And it's Cad Bane, which I'm thinking doubt they won't wipe him out, of course, because he's a smooth, swaggery bounty hunter himself. Um, but uh, who's going to take over the Marshall's little um, town, stuff like that? And how are they gonna handle the Pikes and the Syndicates in the last episode? Who knows, stuff like that. But overall, a really, really great, fantastic episode. Really great improvement. Um, I, like I said, I gave it a 10, a 10 out of 10 and stuff like that. It was really great. Um, now this time, hopefully we'll get to see all the bounty hunters going at each other one-on-one and stuff like that because we got Black Croissant, we got the Mandalorian, we got all the Power Ranger biker gangs, <laughs> as it, you know. 
And um, stuff is about to go down. Stuff is about to go down in the next episode. And I really can't wait. Really can't wait. Well, there you have it. That was my reaction and thoughts and reviews on it. What you guys and girls thought about this episode? Comment below and let me know. Also, if you have enjoyed my reactions, click like, subscribe, and share. More videos be posted each and every other week. So with that being said, the force is really strong with this one. This is Denzel B. Rents. I know. Can't wait to see you on the next video. It would a bang. <laughs>